Woohoo! This is an attempt to vlog, semi vlog. We are taking a day trip into Dallas, me and my husband Cody. We have tickets to see Colby Calais tonight. We are going to Vietnamese restaurant right now in Dallas. Then we are gonna find something to do, probably go to the art museum somewhere inside because it's gonna be like 100 degrees. Um, and then go to Colby Clay tonight. So it is very exciting, but I'm gonna take you along with the journey and yeah, go have a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. Girls looking good today. Took way too much time in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? This is a little place called Chris and John Vietnamese Street Food. It was delicious. We ended up getting the $30 week eight special that you'll see right there. It had wings, a faux burrito, some kind of chicken skewers, and a and a bao bun that you got to pick whatever you wanted in it. We picked the southern chicken bao bun and that was the star of the show. I'm telling you. That little guy with the pickle in there. If you go to this place, make sure you get that. Uh, my husband's favorite was that as well as the wings. Mine was that and the burrito, so. We are at the Dallas Museum of Art. This is a Monet. That was my absolute favorite. I'm not normally a big fan of his water lilies, but that one had the reflections uh, in the water and it was just so gorgeous. This is another Monet and various artists. They have so many different people. This giant soldier was a Swiss soldier that I just love. This is probably my second favorite, which is so random, but it was so large and graphic and you could see from so far away. Um, I need someone at the Dallas Art Museum to contact me and tell me what different paint colors they used because they were so relaxing, these deep blues and everything. More art that I just thought was gorgeous. I think the European section was our favorite. It's hard to believe that some of these were like from the 1600s. Before America was even a thought, there was art in the world that was beautiful. Just kind of get out of your own space for a while and learn some stuff. It's cool. This statue I think was gorgeous. Just the amount of detail they could even get on this dress from marble. Can you imagine? How, how does one do this? Teach me your ways. She was beautiful. These were just some stained glass windows in one of the areas that I thought were gorgeous because they had backlit. And this is from one of these sections. Coco Chanel had a house. Someone from Texas bought it back in the day. And um, once her husband died, she donated a bunch of his collections to the Dallas Art Museum and that was a part of it. found a parking garage right next to the Majestic Theater where we are going to be tonight for the concert. And now we're just gonna walk around this downtown Dallas area. There is an Irish pub that was recommended to us by a friend um, a couple blocks away, so we're gonna walk to that. But for right now, we're just gonna get some steps in and enjoy this cool downtown area, kind of see what offerings it has. Signs that you're getting older. Everyone else is taking selfies while you are taking photos of the architecture. And then you go to an Irish pub and think, why is it so loud in here? Yeah, you're getting old, that's why. We were at the Crafty Irishman in the downtown Dallas area. I had a half and half, which is half Guinness, half harp. It is really good, I recommend it. And these pretzels and beer cheese were legit. We split the fish and chips and left probably a solid third of it on the table still. We were so full. I tried it. I love Molly from All Ears and she likes fish and chip with vinegar, like the small vinegar with lemon and tartar sauce. So I'm like, I'm going to give it a go. Let's see if she knows what's up. And she knows what's up. That was a good combo because I'm not a huge fish person. So if it, if there was any fishiness, it like kind of took it out. More architecture, cause I'm a nerd. 
But seriously, there are like Roman heads up there. It's crazy. How? How? They don't make buildings like that anymore. I'll make sure to tell my grandkids that. That building has something really cool on top, but we couldn't see it from our angle. And more architecture. I regret nothing, okay? It was a, a feast for the eyes. Again, another situation at the concert where everyone's taking selfies. And I'm like, can you check out this crown molding from 1921? This is incredible. I love that. This was the downtown area or the downstairs area where there's a bathroom and like a little museum. This uh, theater has been open for a hundred years. Their exit signs are actually stained glass, which is so cool. This used to be where they did like burlesque shows and comedy shows and there's a chandelier in the middle of it. It's really cool. So hopefully you like architecture like me. Day two of vacation. Last night was so much fun with the concert. I didn't get any footage of the actual concert, just out of respect for people around me. No one else had their phones lit up and it was really dark. And so we just enjoyed the moment, but it was awesome. There is a guy named Nick Davidson who opened up for Colby Calais. Y'all keep your ears open for that kid. He is so talented. It makes you feel this big when you're like twice his age. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna go there. So we are on to day two. I am with my mom. This is Annie. Oh, sorry. Oh, yay. And we are going to go have a girl's day in Dallas. Right back at it. And we are going to go to a mystery dinner. But right now we're on our way to a candle shop because we're doing this five senses exploration thing. So we want to do something for the sense of smell, sight, sound, touch, all the things. Taste. Uh, we have plenty of options for taste, I assure you. Uh, so right now we're gonna go do smell and go to a local candle shop in the downtown Granbury area uh, before we head on to Dallas. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get into today. And by a local candle shop, I mean a local shop that sells candles. They do not make their own candles. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Here's just some footage of that downtown area. Um, I only have 100 people subscribed to me, so I don't think there's any problem saying this is where I live. And we walk this area often just to enjoy the beautiful views of this historic downtown area. My mom ended up getting a necklace. I got some bracelets and there were lots of things to smell for our sense of smell. I almost bought a candle for it, but you know, we saw Dallas left and I wasn't sure what else I could find. I'm gonna go back because I've wanted this Capri Blue Volcano scented candle. Get to drink, Ice, caramel macchiato, banana muffin, banana nut, cinnamon roll. She has an island chocolate something. It's chocolate and coconut. Yum. We're happy girls. <laughs> Can't see you at all with the light behind. It. Downtown Dallas. Never get tired of big buildings. Under this bridge here is where they were headed when JFK got shot and this building here is the sixth floor museum where the shooter was hiding so I'll show you this there yes some Dealey plazas over here where all the people were got just a bathroom in there that's nice and large Got a little, sorry for the bad lighting. Can't do anything about it. There's literally no other lighting options in here. Like a little living area space with a TV. And most importantly, coffee. We have, we were supposed to get two queens, but they gave us this, cause this is what was ready. So we're gonna take it. We had this nice view of downtown Dallas this gorgeous old architecture. This is the pool we'll be perusing at later um, after our mystery dinner, which will be awesome because it's on a rooftop and all, a lot of these light, uh, a lot of these buildings light up at night. So we're gonna have one epic pool party. And I know I'm a nerd. I just cannot get over all the gorgeous architecture here. 
in downtown Dallas. So we're gonna walk to a restaurant and grab a cocktail and a couple appetizers. That way we are not starving to death. This is a little footage of the lobby. It, we were at the something like Garden Inn, Hilton. I don't remember. I have PTSD from how hot that room was. It was literally 80 degrees at night and we thought we were dying and could not sleep. Thankfully, it was a short walk to the Woolworth where we had some cocktails. We actually didn't like the cocktails we ordered for ourselves. And so we switched and we're happy because we liked the cocktails the other person had. So it worked out. Which is on the second, second floor, getting a selfie. We are now on to our sense of taste. So I'm going to order something called a Kentucky Blue. It kind of reminds me of the closest thing I get to an old fashioned, which is my favorite. So we're gonna give it a try. Kentucky Blue, chicken quesadillas. And uh, that's what she said. That's not a joke, that's the name of the drink. Yum. Do you guys, do you got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Taste test. Strawberry. <laughs> Very strawberry. We got bad lighting, but this is the only mirror. So we got, it's just an old navy dress that used to not fit me. And honestly, now, it definitely fits me. I um, was gonna wear high heels, but uh, my mom said that's a bad idea. And you know, pretty thankful for that. This is the face. Do your hair, get you some earrings, put some lashes on, and just be happy, okay? You don't have to be a certain size to feel beautiful and confident in your own body, okay? Our lives don't start when we lose 30 pounds. It's already happening. So drink the drinks, eat the food, feel fabulous, and have a good time. In case you need a reminder, you're beautiful. Damn. Look at her, sexy hair. Oh, oh, she got <laughs> it. Looking hot. Has been better watch out. So at this mystery dinner, we're supposed to think of like a fictional name. It said, be creative. A lot of people do like murder mystery kind of names. So I am gonna be Dana Scully and my mom is going to be Mrs. Peacock. Ooh. How many husbands do you have now? Well, three, but I'm working on four. <laughs> so I just wanted to chat before we head down, or actually up. No, it's down to the uh, mystery dinner about the last two days. So obviously I'm not counting points the last two days. I've had some really weird food, like the faux burrito, which is a burrito filled with faux noodles, things like that, that I honestly, have no idea on how to track but most importantly this is my this is like my staycation slash vacation and so I think it's really important to have these moments where we just give ourselves freedom of not tracking now when I'm full I stop eating so like an example of that is we had those two coffees we split a cinnamon roll and a banana nut muffin earlier and we only ate half the cinnamon roll between both of us because it was very sweet and once we had that banana nut muffin, we were pretty satisfied and we had enough to have some enjoyment and like savor the flavor of the cinnamon roll. But then we, we weren't hungry and it was really sweet and we thought if we finished it, we'd hurt our stomach. So we threw the rest away. I think that if you're really listening to your body, you're probably going to be just fine. Don't eat more than what you're hungry for. If you're not hungry, stop eating. It can be hard when something tastes really, really, really good to stop eating, and that's fine to have those moments too. But listen to your body, stop eating when you're full, eat when you're hungry, be smart with your decisions, but enjoy every bite and don't feel guilty for eating a cinnamon roll. Unless you stole the cinnamon roll, you shouldn't feel guilty for eating it. So there's no guilt. I am gonna show you my way in at the end of this video. Just to show you, I'll probably be up and that is perfectly okay. 
That did not mean that this week was uh, a failure or a bad week. This has been an excellent week and I have made some amazing memories this week that are so important and we're gonna be living our lives and most of us will probably be losing weight for a couple of years. Do you really not wanna have these kind of memories or moments for the next two years so that you can lose weight a little bit faster? That doesn't sound fun to me. I think that focusing on those healthy habits, making sure I'm p paying attention to my hunger cues, and then as soon as I get back at home, I'll be working out. I'll be eating the things I need to eat. I'm gonna make sure that I'm not eating extra points over the next few days as I have my weigh-in day coming up. But don't punish yourself for having a good time. So that's just my little note to you. I hope whenever you go on vacation that you really enjoy it and love it because we, are meant to be happy like the whole point of us losing weight is because we think it's going to make us happy right we think that being healthy and feeling good in our body is going to make us happy well we need moments of happiness now even though you don't maybe feel 100 percent in your body so take those moments enjoy them and i will see you in a little bit if i can film any of the mystery dinner i will but i'm not sure um, because it is put on by actors and things i don't know if they allow photography or videos so You'll see here in a moment if I can do that or not. You're on camera. <laughs> oh. That was so much fun, the murder mystery dinner. They said you could take pictures. I took maybe a picture, this honestly, of our food. It's showing up red. I think we're locked out of our room, but you know. Seriously, I we got a shot glass. Out of our room. Seriously? I literally did it and I got it. <laughs> I think that was opera air, operator air. So I am now the queen of the night. I think that just made that official. Uh, but it was so much fun, guys. If you were in the Dallas area, the it's the dinner detective. There's actors. It's a whole thing. We both guessed completely wrong. We knew that the person who did it, we both knew that they that was like an actor who was in on it. But we didn't know that that was the person who did it. Um, but it was a lot of fun and there's like clues that you get to like read and do and the food was actually really good. I had chicken with mashed potatoes. The Brussels sprouts were hard as rock so that was a no-go for me but um, it was a lot of fun and I definitely recommend it and now we're gonna put on our bathing suits and go to that rooftop pool and bring a drink and have a really good evening and I will see if I can take you and not get my phone wet and see if we can see some beautiful Dallas nighttime lights. All right. You know, when you're 16 and up, you have the swimsuit dress. So that's what we're working with. And we're feeling pretty good about it. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> we're nighttime at the pool. Don't want to really want to get anyone in the picture. And um, yeah, beautiful lights. Hey y'all, it is a couple days later. I have been back for like two and a half days and I as you saw, I went on vacation. I did not track for three days and I've been back on track for two and a half days and I weighed in. I am up 2.8 pounds, which is the exact same weight I was up the day I got back. I weighed myself the next morning after getting back and I was up 2.8. Two days later, still up 2.8 pounds and that's okay. That is an absolutely normal part of the process. Making those memories are more important than what the scale says when you get back. I only recorded this whole thing so that you could see that, you know, I'm a normal person too, and that we're all gonna have to make choices and decisions, and sometimes what's best for our soul isn't necessarily what's best for the scale, and those moments are perfectly okay and legitimate to have. You should not feel guilty for enjoying your vacation. Now, can I do that every month? No, but I want to, no. Because even though I'm still the same weight I was two days ago when I got back, I feel so much better after getting back on track. Y'all, that day I got home, my joints hurt so bad from having gluten for a few days. Um, I basically came home and got in bed and barely ate that day. 
Uh, so I didn't track, but I also barely ate because all I wanted to do was lay down and, you know, munch on some ibuprofen. So I am already feeling way better. I've worked out. I'm actually pretty sore. My legs are definitely swollen from doing a workout. My husband's like, hey, it's 22 minutes, Tony Horton, and then it's done. I'm like, yeah, that sounds great. 22 minutes that you feel for 22 hours. So yeah, <laughs> I did get my 10,000 steps both days after I got back. I just wanted to wrap it up. Even though I ate lots of random foods and didn't track, I did split almost every single thing with whoever I was with. And oftentimes there were things still left on the plate when we left because we weren't hungry. So eat what is enjoyable, stop before it's not enjoyable and um, move on with your life. I could be really upset that, hey, I tried really hard before I left and after I came back and I still was up on the scale. Who cares, I feel better. And that's what the whole point of this anyway. I feel so much better being on track. It's not hard for me to uh, struggle with getting back on track afterwards because I feel like crap when I'm not on track. I feel like that definitely is something that happens as you get older. I know like in my 20s, probably wouldn't have bothered me to be off track for a couple weeks. Um, but now I just, you know, the older you get, like the more importance I think there is on what you put in your body because when you are not getting the proper nutrition, and you're eating a lot of fried foods and things like that, like your body feels it so hard. So it was very easy for me to be like, and today I'm tracking and I'm back on track. Uh, so yeah, that was it. That was the whole little vacation. I say staycation because they were just, most of them were day trips other than the, the hotel room with my mom. Um, but we had a great time and I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow because this is a bonus video. So I'll see you tomorrow with a, a menu. And like a, okay, now we're back on track kind of video. So come back tomorrow. I'll see you then. I hope you have a good weekend.